起为爱大家创一家，阿姨唔孤独呢，去那摩里拉，当伊娃妈只个呐，当伊把侬古叻阿伯去摩里拉困见，当伊娃妈阿伊唔孤独呢。Ki muli ra kun kin, tong hi tua ma ak i in ko tu ne. Ki muli ra kun kin, tong hi tua ma ak i in ko tu ne. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Of course.
got something on your mind? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashik is an uller in mating season. Ugh, frightful. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? I'm old, damn it. I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a panther. No, but it could be. An Anduvian salt tablet would clear that right up, you know. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yes, Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. No, you wouldn't have. Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us old Jedi's excited at our age, so we go, ooh, destiny. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair, and Coruscant was a small town with a well. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians. But at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Of course he did. Haven't you been listening? It was not in the way you'd probably expect, though. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and... Starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Yeah. Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too. Those could have just been gurgling noises. No, well, anyway. Finally, Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics, and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? What? Are you kidding? What are the odds of that happening anyway? A billion to one? You should do so well as to be sucked into the engine of some evil Sith Lord, you know. Andor was a hero. Sort of. Anyway, go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo!
felt it, yes. Another vision? The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered by nothing but vast oceans. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location.